Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm so happy to be back. It's been so long and I've missed every single one of you. I'm filming an intro, don't mind me looking super weird. So anyway, jumping right back into the thick of things, I am going to start off with my face already done. So check out any of my glam videos if you haven't seen what to do. But quickly, I'm just going to go over my face with some powder because I've been wearing this all day and it's getting a little oily. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush and quickly warm up my face considering that all of the colors and everything I'm going to use are going to make me look very pale and dead. Next, I'll be taking this white shimmery eyeshadow from the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette and a small fluffy brush and using that as this amazing highlighter. I'm going to take that off my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose as well. Then I'm going to get distracted by my ring light and the reflections it makes before showing you the dark green, almost yellowish green, and the teal color that I'll be using on my eye. Don't forget to use eye primer and also use your Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil as a base and then take that teal color and a nice fluffy brush and start blending that into the crease. You really want to take your time with blending, that's something that is so crucial for this look to be pulled off. And then go ahead and take a flat brush and that almost yellowish green and lay that all over your lid. Once you've done that, take a nice little pencil brush and a nice dark green shadow and make a V on your outer third of your lid and then blend till your hand wants to fall off. Go ahead and replace any colors that you use during the blending, make them darker, make them lighter, whatever feels good to you. And then add a touch of teal into the inner corner. So exciting. And then go ahead and take a tiny, small angled brush and replicate those colors on the bottom lash line. This really pulls the entire look together. Then I'm going to be taking my lashes from NYX and glue those onto my eyes very quickly. And what really pulls this look together in my opinion since there is no liner on the top of your lid is to tight line your eyes with a nice waterproof gel liner. This is optional but I really like what it did to this. Next, moving on to the lips, I'm going to take my other NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and use that as a wonderful dark base for my lips. Once you've done that, I'm going to take my favorite lipstick ever, ever, which is NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Cherry Skies and dust that everywhere. And that's it, you guys. This is a very grungy, goth-like makeup, but I'm so happy with how it turned out and the eyes were originally based off of what my hair was a couple months ago, but I still think it looks beautiful. And I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Goodbye, my dragons fly free. And don't forget to wait for the bloopers and come back next time. Goodbye, my friends. You okay with listening to Hamilton? Ha always, Leo. Who do you think I am? It's just Hamilton. It's Hamilton. <laughs> No, I didn't. Why? It's also super repetitive. But it's so good. That's good. How, every song is really repetitive. Yeah, but I can stand some of them more than others. You basically I think you underestimate me. how often I listen to this. Okay, that's fair. I'm so you. 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 I